it is Crash Master, and man, my things are not looking good for anyone on YouTube. Anyone. Now, if you see the title, and I'm hoping that I put some sort of like important clickbait, even though that's a kind of a touchy subject. Um, I'm not like clickbaiting you guys in a way that's wrong. I'm trying to get you guys to watch this video. It is very, very important. Now, my time might be up on YouTube. I'm sorry to say that. I really don't think I have a choice at this point because I... Uh, it's it's a very touchy subject. Now, the thing is, Mines, I appreciate all of you subscribing, watching the videos I make, um, giving likes and feedback with comments and everything you guys do for me and whatnot as a community. This small little area of the inter corner of the internet that we have. But I th I, there's nothing we can do about this. This might be the end of us. Now, I tried recording this video last night around 10 o'clock. It's around 10 o'clock again at a.m. Exactly 12 hours, ironically. And, um, excuse the mess. I'm kind of like, re I'm kind of like, I'm setting up some stuff right now on my bed. And trying to organize some stuff around the room too. It's uh, a little bit messy on my desk, but uh, and as well. But uh, that doesn't matter. Now I'll try to make this video because I went through the video and it was about thirty minutes long. I did not want to let you guys watch that because my maximum is like twenty to twenty-five. <laughs> it's not. It's not supposed to be that long. I'm really sorry. But the thing is, my is that this is how it all went down. I have notes on my phone right here. It's on the website. I wrote this all down. Now, in September, YouTube reached a settlement with the Federal Trade Commissions over its violation of the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA, not copper or cop, pa, like the policeman, COPPA, which required it to pay a $170 million fine and set into place a series of new rules for creators to comply with to make sure nobody, especially YouTube, or anybody violates the acts again. So great, you know, it's just making sure, like, protecting our kids in the world, children, anything. Now, the law prohibits internet companies from collecting data from kids 13 and under, and YouTube was accused of violating the law. You know, just a little bit of an accident. Now, I heard her rumor with the past that YouTube got sued a couple times. I never really went to the, like, the reviews or went to see anything like that. That's not my business. But this concerns me and other creators out there too. So, you know, we don't want big evil companies selling products to our younger brothers or sisters or kids, son and daughter or granddaughter, anything anything like that, obviously. That's not that's not how the world should work. Now, in part of YouTube's COPPA compliance rules, this is causing major concern with a lot of creators, including my own. I mean, including myself. Unfortunately, it's the rules are just not gonna. The rules are kind of concerning, and a major concern, as I just said. Now, starting in January 2020, I'm not exactly sure. Some people say January 1st. I heard someone say January 20th or 22nd. All I know is that January 2020, so in about a month or so, YouTube will limit the data it collects for videos marked as made for kids under the government settlement. So these rules require creators to mark videos that are directed as kids or entire channels if need be. You know, just to make sure that people who are making content for kids or not for kids are like, okay, we have content made for kids. Make sure not to put too many like ads or anything like that where kids might like get addicted or hypnotized into this kind of stuff. Because, you know, kids are impressionable. It's that simple. Science proves it. It's basic logic in a sense. Now, unfortunately, these rules will require, I'm going to look at my phone, I'm trying to like interact with you guys in a way too, I'm really sorry. Now, these rules will require to put an ad to, put an end to personalize ads on kids' content, disable comments, reduce their revenues, including, including click-through info cards, end screens, notification functions, the community tab, channel branding watermarks, live chat and live chat donations, save to playlists, and even little features like that, including the watch later. The watch later button, you know, the one where you ha we don't have time. All of these functions. 
And the major ones for me are disabled comments, watch later, or save to playlist. And, well, maybe not that one. Mostly watch later and disabled comments and the notification functions. Now, the basic one around major creators like Caveman Films, The Game Theorist, Stampy Longhead, Ibilistic Squid, PewDiePie, all of these other creators is the ad revenue. Because it varies from 60 to 70 percent of the ad revenue that they make could be gone. Even some cases saying like 80 to 90 percent of the money they make could be gone. That's a huge amount, Moins. That's a huge amount. That's like saying you make a hundred dollars a week, but then at best you're only gonna get 40 percent of that. Forty dollars. I would be mad. <laughs> you can bet a lot of other creators are mad too. Now, the video. Now there is a way. People can settle this. The video designation also will apparently make... Oh, oh, wait. Before I actually say why maybe we can settle this, is that the it will apparently make the videos also... Besides all those other functions that we won't get access to if, the, if it's kid content, it also can make it unsearchable on Google. Yep. That's right, Mites. The video is practically gone from the internet at that point. You gotta get lucky, or maybe stay subscribed. How are you supposed to grow like that? I don't know. And this is a, this has happened. According to on Thursday, um, I'm not sure when. Perry Grip, a daytime Emmy winning songwriter, yeesh, that's quite the title, whose long running YouTube channel features songs about food and animals, noticed that videos marked in YouTube for kids don't show up on Google searches engine. So that practically means that this company wants to make sure that kids are safe, don't get like like corrupted and buy these random brands and supplies from other companies and all these products. And in turn, the rules are now for that creators have to set are making all of this functions for kids channels or content unavailable. Now, if you this, this is a quote from the FTC. If you fail to set your audience accurately, you may face compliance issues with the FTC or other authorities, and we may take action on your YouTube channel. Now, the max fine, and this is the max fine, not like the average fine, after 2020, will be $42,000 per video. And I know it's out of focus, but I had to slam my hand on the desk a little bit. Focus. Focus. There we go. Sorry about that. And honestly, imagine someone like me, Mites, getting fined for that much on a video. Now, that's the max, but can you imagine that, Mites? Me, a simple, small, form down creator who just passed 100 subscribers, paying that much after 2020. Imagine that's bad on me, but imagine other people like all the other creators I mentioned, too, who make money, like Afmel or Dan the Diamond Minecart or Ant Venom or literally any YouTuber. That makes kid content. Now, 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 I'm not saying that they do make kid content, or I'm, or don't take that into consideration. I'm not saying that. I know for a fact that some of them make kids content for kids, but they also don't. It's a very, very gray area. Now, that should be easy, right? Like, oh, Crassmaster, why don't you and the other YouTubers just, you know, market as not for kids because it's not for kids, obviously. Well. That's where the gray area, as I said just now, comes in. Now, you see, Moites, according to the FTC's guidance on COPPA, a video is child-directed, which we call made for kids, if child children are the primary audience based on the factors described below. This is also information. If you want information, Moites, and you have a channel, you can literally go to, you might have gotten an email or a notification on your YouTube channel, but right here, you can go to support.google.com determining if your content is made for kids can it can it focus my phone's charging i'm really sorry uh come on focus focus i don't want to i don't want to uh, this is as good as you're gonna get i'm sorry marks determining if your content is made for kids right there you can see my little cm there you go but um that um right there and this is updated november 22nd literally a day i'm literally recording this a day after this was updated now Right here, let me go back to my notes. This they say that children are not. It says children are the primary audience based on the factors described below. 
children are not the primary audience, but the video is still directed to kids based on the factors below. When deciding whether or not your channel or video is made for kids, you should include the following factors. Now, here are, are the factors to determine if we're not kids. So let's go off the list and I'll check them off. Subject matter of the video, e um, example, educational content for preschoolers. Nope, that is nowhere in turn I'm doing that. Children are your intended or actual audience for the video. Now, the FTC labels children as under 13. No, not even close. Mine's is more or less high school and above. Mostly, I turned my content for high school to college and maybe above if, they, if they're if they interested in stuff like that. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I'd still be. Um... Cause in if you look at I try to I my channel's basically gaming, but I also try to tell stories in the games or make a story. Like my Minecraft series used to be something like a survival, but now I'm trying to turn it into a story based um game. Story based story. So I guess you could say. I'm really trying to make characters at with Soul Tega and a couple other people behind the scenes and it, that's that but most people might not see like that. You could say it's a tutorial or kind of like Stampy's Lovely World kind of free build thing, but I'm, I'm starting to really try to make it into a story. It's a little slow, but we're getting there. You can also see stuff like Mario games or Dragon Ball Xenoverse, for example. You could say that as well. Now, it's so we can check off. Well, we can mark off with an X, not for preschoolers and not for children or intended for children. The video includes child actors or models uh, no, I'm nowhere near a child's age, not even close, and, um, there's no models or actors, do you, do you see any? No? I didn't think so. There we go. Alright, next, the, so we can cross that out as well. The video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures. Now, that's a bit of a gray area for me as well, because I'm playing Sonic games, or I'm starting to. I only play Sonic Mini. I'm going to play two more in the future, and Mario, which have animated cutscenes, and maybe Dragon Ball. Although I'm pretty sure that's teenager and above as well, because I don't see any ten year olds watching Dragon Ball nowadays. <laughs> but um, that's a little bit of a gray area as well for me too. Now, we can make that like as gray. Everything else has been practically none. All these rules so far are crossed out on my channel. Not true. From me. You can hear it from the creator's mouth yourself. That one is a little bit of a gray area with the animated characters in a sense. But here's where things get a little bit more rough. The language of the video is intended for children to understand. What does that really mean? Like, I get, I can kind of understand what they're coming from with that in a sense, Mites, but I'm speaking regular English language. Anybody can understand me. If, you know... They understand big words, like intended, actual, hello, <laughs> mites, uh, stuff like that. Crash Master. It just uh, that's a little bit of a gray area too. Like, what do they exactly mean for intended for children? Like, I, I can understand like, what's four plus four, kids? Good, it's eight. Like maybe something like that. I'm a little confused on that, honestly. I kind of understand, but I might need to look into that more. But here's where it comes to the big br deal breaker. The video includes activities that appeal to children such as play acting, simple songs, or games, or early education. Now, you can, it depends. I'm pretty... Now, it games, it, it doesn't matter if a game. Board games, card game, video games. Video games. That includes me. And other channels out there like gaming YouTubers that we all know and care about and love and watch all the time. That's a big deal. And also, oh, and here's another one. The video includes songs, stories, or poems for children. That could also include Mario and Sonic, you know, trying to save the day, save the princess, defeat the bad guy. So, what does this mean? Well, in turn, minds, basically, this is the end. If it doesn't get more attention, you can pretty much expect the end for gaming, animation, cartoon videos, and gaming, animation, and cartoon videos. Really. Wow. How much on YouTube do you all watch videos on gaming, animation, and cartoons? Like Jaden Animation, The Odds One Out, Stampy Longhead, The Diamond Minecart, all of these people 
could lose ad revenue, their money. They mo most people. I I looked at a tweet saying from Squishy Quack, Stampy's now wife, Stampy Longhead's wife, Joseph Garrett, saying that she might she's gonna try to find a job if this keeps up, like ad revenue's gone, based on animals. Good for her. She's trying to you know, the world runs on money. It's simple as that. But. This affects me on, mostly on notifications and uh, comments. Now, I will put a link below at the bottom of the video based on three videos I've seen so far. Based on uh, Stampy Longhead's video, Caveman Films, and also the Game Theories. Which I think Matt through Patrick has done a great job at um, explaining it on the Game Theories. You can go there. I really recommend you check his out, but maybe the other two if you're a fan of them as well. I think he just explains it the best because he's a very scientific and analytical person. And I respect him like that. I love science as well. I do lots of research. I was planning on doing videos like that in a way. But what really affects me most is the comments and notifications. Now, how am I... I love you guys' feedback. Sometimes there's a comment every now and then that I'm a little, like, iffy about. Or I even got a comment way back on the channel where someone was, like, cursing me out a little bit. I deleted that and make sure no one would see that ever. Because I don't want anybody seeing like that. But this channel was never meant for 8-year-olds or 10-year-olds or even 11-year-olds. 12 and 13, I'm a little bit on the gray area as well. Because I was very mature and, and tall and big for my age growing up. But... This is a serious matter. My channel was meant to make, and I was going to start making story videos with deep lore and characters, science videos about games and real life physics and science, and 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 horror games as well, like Bendy and the Ink Machine. But there's another Bendy game coming out. Five Nights at Freddy's. They're starting to make the AR and VR series and all the other ones. I need to play through the other ones as fast as possible now. Well, at a steady pace, at least. I don't want to drop content on you guys like willy nilly like that and that. That's too much. But this could be the end mods. So, as we're closing out the video, you can also. I just want to say you can also leave comments on the FTC's website. I might leave a link down there as well. I don't know too much about that. I'm gonna. I'll look it up. If it, the link's down there, then you all already know. Sorry about that. My uh, thing went black. There we go. And that's. All I can really say so as I'm closing this out I just don't know what to do Mart. so I do there is a couple options one we can contact the FTC and maybe other people out there we could try to solve this issue maybe work out some sort of um I don't know maybe work out some sort of deal or or tie to like to make this so that way creators don't lose out on opportunities and ad revenue in their jobs. Because now these are jobs in the world that people have accepted. I know people and grown-ups who accepted this already, including myself. And the FTC doesn't have to worry about people making products and trying to sell them and to kids try to buy it and rip them off. That's a really if two months. That could take months weeks and months to even like get a deal like that it depends people are still trying to do it option two i can move to a different platform like i know there's a lot of platforms that i'm already looking into just in case like twitch and um mixer there's a couple other youtube websites like uh dtube i think and mix and uh vimeo and there's two things about that much. If I do move to a different platform, what should I do? Should I just transfer all the videos that I made in the past, which are quite a bit, and put them on the on this um new platform? Or should I just leave a link and say, go watch my old YouTube channel, then do it? Because links can, I might need to update the link every now and then. I don't know if it's going to like get like wonky or cancel or whatever. So that's another question. Option three, I can make my own website. We could put ads on there as well. I'm not. I know. I was never in it for the money, but if I ever feel like it, maybe I could do that. I could put all the videos up there too as like a secondary, like just in case. Cause this issue can happen anywhere, Mars. What happens if everybody overnight switches from YouTube to Mixer or Twitch, and then it's gonna happen again? Like I'm. Not, I. I don't know. I'm saying like that might be an exaggeration. Saying I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix my shirt. That might be an exaggeration. 
saying that everybody's going to do that. That's not how the real like, real world works. But if people are going to start transferring to other things and they make ad revenue and all this kind of stuff again, it might just be the same issue again. So what do you guys think? Should I make or create a website? I'm thinking about doing that. I might take some time. I'm not fluent in that kind of stuff at all. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, let's just try to keep our heads high. Content will still be coming until January 2020, maybe. That's a big maybe. So I don't know. But in the meantime, guys, all of you out there, males, females, kids, younger or older out there who watch this channel, I thank you. It's been an incredible ride for me. I love doing all these videos for you guys and for myself in a small way so don't forget leave a comment if I can put that link down there share a long informative conversation in a way with the FTC sh telling them this cannot work we need to find some common ground so that's the end hopefully this video wasn't too long for you guys and most of you were able to watch it please leave a like and subscribe and yes, I will see you all later. Later, guys.